an ancient monastery in the heart of Florence, and a laboratory that transformed the art of perfume. Santa Maria Novella is celebrating its 400th anniversary this year. A maker of perfumes, medicinal balms and fragrant candles through the ages, it survived the centuries wrinkle-free. The same counter and windows of 1612 greet visitors today, and business is booming, though buyers nowadays are a bit different from the noble women of yesteryear. Today, Santa Maria Novella's clients are getting younger and younger. It's good. They transmit the enthusiasm for our products, and they live longer. The firm's fans are spread around the world. They come in their thousands every year not only to buy the old-style products, but also to admire the frescoed halls of the former monastery, once run by Dominican monks. I just thought it's just like um, a shop, it's kind of shop, but when I came in, it's like so fabulous, it's so beautiful, yeah. Actresses Penelope Cruz and Monica Bellucci are among the latest aficionados, modern-day versions of the firm's most famous patroness, Catherine de' Medici. The aristocratic Medici family were customers of the company for decades, and the monks responded by pioneering the production of alcohol-based perfumes. They used to mix essences with oil or vinegar, but the monks had the idea of experimenting with alcohol. The Queen's Water was the first famous perfume in all of Europe to have been produced from alcohol, in the same way they're made today. In the company's workshop, there's little machine production around. Creams are still handmade, and the products are individually wrapped. It's a question of prestige for the company that helped it boost turnover by 37% last year, despite Italy's recession. Old school quality comes at a price, though. A small bottle of perfume will set buyers back 80 euros.